Dear students, I welcome you all to this problem solution series in digital electronics. I am solving the problems from the book Digital Design by Maurice Mann and Michael Silethi, 4th edition. So in this video, I am solving the problem number 5.17 from the chapter number 5. The problem is design a one input, one output, serial two complementer circuit. That is, we have to design two complementary circuit that will have one input and one output. The circuit accepts a string of bits from the input and generates the two complement at the output. The circuit can be reset asynchronously to start and end the operation. So here also we have to define another reset option while designing. So let us first understand how a two complementary works. So suppose if we have a number. 0 1 0 0 1 1 1 0 1 0 1 1 0 0 okay suppose this is the number so first of all let us find out the ones complement so for finding out ones complement we have to just invert the bits okay so the ones complement will be ones complement okay ones complement will be just the opposite so if it is 0 it will be 1 0 1 1 0 0 0 then we have 1 0 1 0 0 1 1 okay so this is the ones complement so for finding out two's complement what we have to do we have to add one to the list significant digit okay so here we'll get the two's complement so the two's complement will be one plus one it is zero then we have again one is the carry so we'll have So this is the two's complement of this given number. If we see the least significant digits, we will notice that whenever we have the zero, so it will become zero. The two's complement is zero. Next, if we have also zero, then we have zero. And until the first one, it will be the same. Until the first one occurs, it is the same. That is one zero zero. Here also one zero zero. And after this one, we have to just invert the digits. So if we have one here. Then we have 0, then 0 we have, then it is 1 here. So it is like that. So it is the just inverted digits. So here we can write it that the two's complement of a number can be obtained by keeping the least significant bits as such until the first one. That means Whenever we are finding out the two's complement, we have to keep the digits as it is, that is 0, 0, 1, that is up to first one occurs, we have to keep it as it is. And then complement the remaining bits. Then we have to complement the remaining bits. So up to this one, we have to keep it as it is. And then all the bits are complemented of this given digits. Now let us make the state table. So state table will be, so here we will have one present state. We have input and we have next state and output. Suppose we have the present state is denoted by A. Then we have input is X and the next state will be A of T plus 1. Okay, and output is suppose Y. So for this present state and input combinations 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0. 1 1 we have to find out the next state output and the output okay now we'll find out the next state when we have the present state is 0 the and the input is also 0 it will remain unchanged so we'll have 0 0 okay when we have present state is 0 input is 1 the next state will be 1 and the output is also 1 when we have present state is 1 and the input is 0 it will remain unchanged okay so we'll have here 1 and 1. When we have present state is 1 and input is 1, we'll have the next state is 1 and the output is 0. Now let us make the state diagram. So here let me draw the state diagram. Here we'll have two states, one is 0 and next one is 1. When we have present state is 0 and the next state is also 0, that means 0 and 0 0 it will remain in the 0 state when the input is 0 and the output is 0 the present state is 0 and the next state is 0 that is the transition is from 0 to 0 again when we have input is 1 when we have present state is 0 input is 1 
it will go to next step one that is it will go to next step one and the inputs are one and one okay so inputs is one and the output is also one okay now when we have present state is one suppose this is the state and input is zero it will remain in the present state okay so it will remain in the present state when we have input is zero it will remain the present state and the output is one and when we have present state is one this one and input is one the next state will be one itself so it will remain in the present state okay so when we have one input it will remain in the same state and the output is zero now we have to define one reset state so here we will define a reset state that is will it will have a transition from one to zero okay when we have a reset it will have suppose reset underscore b it will have transition from one to zero okay so this is the state diagram now if we find out the equations of this a of t plus one and y k map for a of t plus one so here we'll have we have two input variables so zero one zero one so we have a and x a x so for a of t plus one we have zero one 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 zero one 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 so we can combine like this and this will be the second combination so we'll have a of t plus one is equal to so this one with the first term is a plus this will be the second term that is x so we have got the expression for this a of t plus one now we have to find out the expression for output y therefore k map for y that is output so we have here 0 1 1 0 so we'll have here 0 1 1 0 so we'll have two terms therefore y is equal to from this combination we'll get it is a x bar a x bar plus from this term we'll get a bar x a bar x so we'll have here this is the xor operation so we can write a xor x okay so we have got this expression for next step okay and this is the output expression now we have to draw the circuit so here we'll use a d flip flop so d a d suffix a we can write it as a plus x and this will be the output y now let us draw the circuit so here we'll have one d flip flop we'll have one input that is the output is q and here we'll have a clock this output is taken from here flip flop this flip flop is termed as a and it has the output is a now we have to find out the da so this is nothing but da okay so da is the a plus x so we have to use a or get so input is x so use a or get okay and take a feedback from this out present state output okay and give it to the or get here we'll have a plus x this is nothing but da okay so we have got the expression for da now what we have to do we have to find out the expression for the output y so output y is the a xor x okay so output y is the a xor x suppose here we have a xor gate okay so here we'll have the output y and suppose for controlling we have used here a buffer okay so this buffer will be connected to this reset input so that we can control the output okay here we have output y for this xor gate we will have the input is a xor x okay so a will be one input and one input will come from here this x okay so it will go here so this at this output will have a xor x so here we have the output here we have this input x and this is the reset reset underscore b so this is the logic circuit of the one bit two's complementer thank you for watching if you have any question please put it in the comment section below also like share and subscribe to my channel thank you